and welcome back to Gourmet Glen's Country Kitchen, the summer series. We will be posting uh, recipes and I will be doing cooking shows for you every week. And at the end of it all, we shall put all our picnic stuff together and have the bestest end of the year family picnic you can. But today is our most beautiful, hot, sunny day. So we are going outside cooking. Here we are, outside, beautiful sun, two lovely scorching summer recipes I'm gonna be doing for you today. First of all, the cucumber and strawberry salad. salad. Different flavours and different things to do, but incredibly easy to do. So with a potato peeler, just to give it a different shape, we take it off like that, and then we put one spoonful, one tablespoonful of olive oil, and a quarter of a tablespoon, tablespoonful of white wine vinegar. And then, because our cucumber's already there, already our shapes, we can just slice them as thin as, thin as we can. So I'm not trying to be too flashy, but if you can do it that way, that's it. And as we're with the garden, we can throw that into the garden. And we're gonna put that into our oil and vinegar. And believe it or not, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. The cucumbers, and we've mixed that with our olive our oil and vinegar, and then we're just arranged on the plate. In the meantime, I've sliced some strawberries, and we just slice a few more, just to put in there, just to let you know. So what I've done, I've taken the tops off, got rid of that bit there, and put them all in there. And all we're gonna do, literally, got a bit of runny honey. I'm gonna just put a little bit of runny honey. Now we brought the baby with us today. So if you hear these little noises, it's only the baby. And literally just put them in the middle of our salad. And then we're gonna just decorate it with a couple of strawberries, mint leaves, pansy and a little sprig of lavender because in the country kitchen got and that is our little strawberry and cucumber salad enjoy it <laughs> next dish is the turkey and sausage kebabs with the caspaccio sauce so what i've managed to do is go to a local supermarket because unfortunately my butcher didn't have some turkey breast so what i've done with the turkey breast put it between two sheets of cling film and with the and with the uh rolling pin, I'm sort of giving it a bit of a bashing. So sometimes it's quite a nice bit of therapy. So now I've bashed it, I'm gonna open it up. And that bit there we don't want, because that's a piece of sinew. So we've got to get rid of that sinew bit, if we can. And you could do this on the barbecue, or like me, you can just do it on the stove, which I shall put on now. I've got a little tiny bit of olive oil in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Now, with some red pesto, you can use green pesto if you want to, or red pesto. This is red pesto with a little bit of chili. What I'm gonna do is literally, spoon pesto on the turkey breast now you could use pork chop pork loin if you can get it nice and thin you could also use even use a lovely bit of veal what i've done i've got the pork chipolata which i have got from my butchers and actually what you do when you roll them they look a bit of a mess like that but we believe you me once you've uh, just literally roll them up and when you've rolled them that's when you've got to cut through so about an inch an inch wide, just cut them all the way through, and then the skewers, wooden skewers, I've soaked in water. And as I'm outside, we haven't got the barbecue going, like I said. So we're going to cook really our fresh You can be doing this down the beach, you don't have to be doing it in my garden. Can you hear the birds are with us now? Really gorgeous. And while they're cooking, we make the dispatch sauce. 
there you go, they're cooking nicely. Just please remember when you are cooking chicken, pork, anything, there's no pink juices before you have it. Make, you know, but you know, just, just make sure you just cut through it just to be on the safe side. In the meantime, three tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, some chopped tomatoes, some chopped red and green peppers, in they go, some cucumber, chopped cucumber, we've got some tomatoes to chop up, we've got some tomatoes to chop up, we've got garlic, onion, if you remember a little while ago we showed you how to do, you can just go through the middle and then just roll, you remember you roll your knife, roll your knife, so that way you're going to get everything you need, and the same again with a little bit of garlic as well. If you have a blender, blend it to make it slightly smoother than what we're doing today, but as you can see, I'm outside, I can't do that. Okay, so there's our caspaccio sauce, salsa even, you could say. You could put a bit of chilli in there. If you don't like it lumpy and chunky, then put it in the blender. Otherwise, we are literally going to put some nice and summery, fresh, Just, there's our kebabs. Every recipe does for at least four people. We can pull that off. So it's just like that. Eat that then. I'm going to leave them there because I'm going to have a chew of them myself. It's been seasoned, salt and peppered. And there we go. There's our caspaccio and sausage and turkey kebabs. Our first in our summer series, al fresco eating the caspaccio and sausage and turkey kebabs with the most refreshing cucumber and strawberry salad and of course as always I'll see you next time on Gourmet Glen's Country Kitchen the Summer Series.